Hi, Dr. J, welcoming you back to this video. Uh, the next few videos are very important. They probably will be technical, but extremely important. And I'm going to try and make them as simple for you to understand and follow because it has a large bearing to the whole subject that we have been talking about. So today I'm going to talk to you in this particular video about the brain. And I've actually divided these videos into short clips so that it's easier for you to, to sort of grasp them and, and, and keep track of what we're talking about. So right now I'm showing you a cross section of the brain. The, the brain has been sliced like this, this brain. Now the brain grows in a specific pattern. The first to grow is the brain stem. Over here, as you can see, this arrow pointing in this green area, this is the brain stem. Brain stem regulates things like heart rate, how rapidly or how slowly the heart beats, your respiratory rate, as to you know at what rate you're breathing, rapid or, or shallow, so it sets that, and the temperature regulation, the temperature of your body. These three things are regulated by the brain stem. So the respiration, the heart rate, and the temperature of the body. This is regulated here. Then the next one to grow is the midbrain. This one over at the top. On top of this arrow, as you can see, over here you have centers for uh, sleep. So sleeping, waking up, the sleep pattern that's as located here, and appetite, hunger. Those centers are related, located here. Then if you see, you've got this gray area over here. This is called the limbic system. Now don't get into technical, uh, you know, fancy terms that I'm using. Just remember that on top of the midbrain, there's a thing called limbic system. The importance of the limbic system is that this is the seat for your emotional control. And as I've been uh, repeating time and again in my videos, that the centers for emotion are being laid down and fine-tuned in this area of your baby's brain. And on top of it is the cerebral cortex, the top of the brain over there, right? Which is the seat for uh, uh, critical thinking, for logic, for analysis, for calculations. Uh, all those things are based over here. So as far as we are concerned, this is the limbic area is a very important area because this is where the centers for emotion from the 28th week of pregnancy onwards are being laid down and fine-tuned. I mean, you've, you've heard me a trillion times, a zillion times talking about centers of emotion being laid down and fine-tuned starting the 28th. And that's so important that I cannot help but just repeat it time and again. Now, the centers are fine-tuned in response to the neuropeptides or the neurochemicals or the substances that we talked about in an earlier video, the composition of the neuropeptides, because neuropeptides are being carried to this area over here through the bloodstream. So the bloodstream is bathing it, and the kind of neuropeptides that bathe this area, they determine on how these centers are fine-tuned. Now, the, the neuropeptides in the baby circulation is coming from where? It's coming from the maternal circulation. So, the composition of the neuropeptides in your bloodstream during pregnancy that filters through the placenta, enters the baby's circulation, gets into the baby's circulation, goes into the limbic system, washes and bathes and covers the limbic system and the quality of the neuropeptides determines how to fine-tune the centers. So that's why your role in determining the fine-tuning and the eventual outcome and the eventual uh, emotional competence or emotional intelligence of the child is actually in your hands. So this was the first video to do with this. Uh, the neuropeptides and, and the brain centers and how, the, how they are developing in, in, the, in the uterus. And uh, let me just get you quickly on the second video and then talk to you more about this uh, in detail. Thank you.